to invite the entire clergy that's here this evening to say grace. Senior, 
Kamana Bijaw, and the Honorary Council of Macedonia to Toronto, Jordan Bijaw, and Sally Stavro and her family. Thank you all for all of your support. Now, at this time as well, I'd also like to thank some of our sponsors for tonight's gala, without true support again this evening wouldn't be possible. A really special thank you to the Stanwick family for their generous and ongoing support. Now, Chris Stanwick, he serves together with me on the UMD Advisory Council, and we cannot thank him enough for his hard work and passion and dedication as well. Um, I'd also like to thank some other sponsors, which are Canadiana Flowers for providing us with today, today's beautiful floral arrangements. Thank you so much. There's also Toronto Bread and Davina uh, Wines, which is Ochoa Andanovsky. Thank you again to all of you. Can you thank who I wanted to say was the Macedonian media in Toronto, too. If it wasn't for them promoting this event, we wouldn't have a full house here tonight. So the Macedonian media has been very kind to us as well. One more recognition like I'd like to do before you enjoy your dinner. Um, we got a writing here from the House of Commons. From, we got greetings from the MP, John Carmichael, from John Valley West. He was supposed to be here tonight, but couldn't make it. But he did send his greetings, which are, Dear United Macedonian Diaspora, I write to bring warm greetings during your evening of celebrations. Ever since the Republic of Macedonia gained independence in 1991, our two nations have enjoyed positive bilateral relations. It is with pride that Macedonia, the United Death Macedonian Diaspora is active in Don Valley West. The work of the organization to promote spiritual, historic, and cultural heritage is part of what makes Don Valley West such a vibrant community. I'm also impressed by United Macedonian Diaspora's international collaboration, working with representatives spanning the globe from Australia to the United Kingdom. It is evident that yours is an active community with a unique history and clear mandate. Congratulations to the organizers and volunteers for their hard work in organizing the event this evening. And I'd like to thank everyone, especially the special guest, Ms. Evgenia Natulidu, and everyone else, a wonderful evening. Sincerely, John Carmichael, MP, John Valley West. Please enjoy your dinner, and I'll be back shortly. to introduce the UMD Chairman of the Board, which is Thoran Nikolov, who has devoted much of his own personal time and energy to contribute towards the, well the well-being of our community throughout UMD over the last several years. Now, Stole flew in from Boston today uh, just to be here with us this evening. I'd like to please welcome Stoyan Nikolov to the podium. Thank you, Liz, for the kind words and the wonderful introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, respected guests, fellow Macedonians and friends of Macedonia, good evening, Dobrovice. I'm honored and delighted to be here with you tonight. It feels good to be back in Toronto, and it feels even better to be here at St. Clement of Ohrin Macedonian Orthodox Cathedral a place where I feel right at home every time I visit Toronto and our Macedonian community here in Canada. First, I want to thank our team here in Canada for organizing this magnificent event. But most of all, I want to thank all of you for being here tonight to support the efforts of the United Macedonian Diaspora. You have this goal to foster unity among the Macedonian people and to advance our cause would not be possible without, without your guidance and generous support. Thank you. As you, know, as you know, UMD works to promote our Macedonian historical, spiritual, and cultural heritage while also preserving, promoting, and safeguarding the Macedonian tradition and our Macedonian identity. In that regard, and with that in mind, I want, I want to tell you tonight a little bit about a book that I believe will do more to safeguard and promote our Macedonian historical, spiritual, and cultural heritage, and most of all, protect our Macedonian identity than un in any other book written about Macedonia and our people in recent times. 
The book I'm talking about is called The Macedonians, Their Past and Present, by Dr. Ernest Deminopoulos, a fellow Macedonian who is also here with us tonight. Together with Goran Stoyanov, a friend of mine, and a long-time member and supporter of UMD, who first introduced me to Dr. Damianopoulos, I had the honor and privilege to participate in the final preparation of the book. And from the very beginning, what impressed me the most about this magnificent book was the author's redefinition and reconceptualization of the Macedonian identity as, expre as expressed in his answer to the perennial question, who are the Macedonians? To answer the question, who are the Macedonians, Dr. Damianopoulos performed a very complex, multidiscipline examination of four domains of evidence, including genetic DNA, historical, anthropological, and sociocultural style results. And at the end, he concluded that the Macedonians have a non-Greek, non-Slav, unique Macedonian ethnic identity linked to the ancient Macedonians by sparse but critically important material cultural remains from the distant past. <laughs> Many problems and other controversial issues had to be addressed before the question about who are the Macedonians could be answered. Issue, issues such as what counts as evidence for an ethnic identity, as well as complex problems of integrating the evidence from the four logically independent domains I mentioned earlier, DNA, historic, historically, uh, historical, anthropological, and sociocultural, had to be explained.